Covering news where you live. This is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. The Northwest Arkansas Crisis Stabilization Unit is facing a funding issue. Washington County was recently notified that the state will be cutting funding from 90,000 a month to 60,000 a month. The 16 bed voluntary behavioral health program serves as an alternative to inpatient hospitalization or a trip to the emergency room. The county is responsible for providing the facility and the state is responsible for reimbursing the county for the service provider, which is UAMS. Washington County Judge Patrick Deacon says the county can't shoulder the difference and they're asking the state to uphold their partnership and not cut that funding. It needs to be reliable and consistent for both the law enforcement agencies referring individuals here, but not only that, the healthcare industry uh, referring individuals here. If you're an individual who's experiencing crisis, we need you to know that when you pick up that hotline, that facility is going to be there and ready to serve you. The Washington County Crisis Stabilization Unit first opened in 2019, then closed in 2021 after Ozark Guidance didn't renew its contract. It reopened last August with UAMS as the provider. The county is asking on the public to call the governor's office and their legislators to let them know how important it is for the CSU to remain open. Now, before we get to more of today's top stories, let's get a check of that forecast with meteorologist Zach Scott. Zach, a hot weekend store. Yeah, uh, temperatures just getting a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer each day, Joe. Uh, and that's going to be the top headline for sure. Hottest stretch of the year so far. It's coming in. It's late July. We're going to keep the heat and roll it right into early August, likely too. Uh, temperatures up into the uh, mid 90s today. We're going to uh, top out around 96 in our warmer spots in Northwest Arkansas. I think overall we're mostly going to be about 93 to 96 degrees. Looking for temperatures come down some for us a little bit faster in Northwest Arkansas. 90s working into the 80s quickly by late evening. We're in those lower to mid 80s. Not looking too bad there. A little bit of a breeze today. We're talking about winds gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Northwest Arkansas winds gusting seeing more around uh, 15 miles per hour or so in the River Valley. So at least trying to stir that air up a little bit. Highs a little warmer for us today, mid to upper 90s, warmest spots up to 99 degrees in the River Valley. For us, it takes a little bit longer for those temperatures to come down by late evening, just getting out of the 90s and into the upper 80s. We've uh, seen some clouds move in uh, the last couple of days uh, from the north. We saw some clouds roll in on Monday. We're going to try to do that again today. Some higher level clouds from some uh, storm activity in Missouri. And as we get into tomorrow, still a little bit of some shower activity, Kansas, Missouri, and some of those clouds filtering south into our area. We're dry today. As we get into tomorrow, Joe could see a few sprinkles north of I-40. All right. Thanks so much, Zach. Well, we are keeping an eye on a few things happening around five country in the coming weeks. First, don't forget the United Way of Fort Smith area is having its annual fill the bus campaign this Friday and Saturday. You can help some students get ready for the new school year. All they ask is that when you're in the store doing some shopping, you pick up an extra back to school item. And for those of you in Northwest Arkansas, the United Way of NWA's fill the bus event is set for August 4th. Meanwhile, the city of Fayetteville is accepting bids for new New construction at the intersection of 15th Street and Razorback Road. Improvements include new traffic lights, curb and gutter and sidewalk installations and some drainage improvements. Those bids will be accepted until August 8th. And the Benton County Sheriff's Office says it wants to invest in a device to help with underwater search missions. It's called a Deep Trekker remote operated vehicle and they say it would make search missions safer for their divers and faster for victims families. Major Kenneth Paul with the Benton County Sheriff's Office says they've seen the success of these remote operated vehicles firsthand. He says this all started in March when the Sheriff's Department was working to recover two drowning victims at Beaver Lake. After weeks of searching and help from other organizations, they were able to recover the bodies at 185 feet with the help of one of these vehicles. Now the Sheriff's Office wants to purchase one of their own. So our divers were only certified to go down to 100 foot, so we wouldn't have been able to make the recoveries. Uh, we'd had to call in dive teams from out of state to come in with special equipment. So those robots, they have a, a high definition cameras on all four sides, and they also have a, an arm that you can attach to targets and you can retrieve them. 
Well, this device would be a $150,000 investment. The sheriff's office says they plan to present this to the Quorum Court. If funding is approved, they'll order it in January. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. Make sure to catch up with us again tomorrow right here for more. Have a great day.